In today's video, I want to show you guys how to paint these really vibrant rainbow birds. I'm going to show you how to do this really loose and wild dripping technique, as well as a little bit of drawing. My favorite thing about drawing is how things that even look a bit difficult can be quite simple when you break them down into basic shapes and simple steps. So let's go ahead and get started. Since this is a rainbow painting, we are going to use a full rainbow of colors. I'd want just a little paint on there. And then let's go. You could totally have a whole bunch of really skinny petals. That would make it look a little bit more like a daisy. Okay. We'll keep going. Now we want to have some coming out this way. Okay. So this petal sort of just fits. If I'm keeping my petals all the, oh, my kitty just jumped on the table. <laughs> If you have uh, cats at home, you'll know the struggle is real. Okay. Once you're happy with your grasses, we're going to pull up some of the trunks of our tree. So we're just going to get right on in there and be bold. And we spent all this time creating our lovely backgrounds. And we're now just going to pull some black lines right up through the side of it. And it's going to maybe feel a little bit jarring, uh, but just trust me and trust yourself and just go with it going to have fun with today's painting. Top, we're going to pull a little bit of this dark pink into some white. We're going to mix almost like a strawberry ice cream color and we're just going to pull a little bit of a highlight at the top the same way we did with the shadow and then blend that in to the wet pink below. The blue has so much more pigment than the red that I'm really going to just take this bright brush here and I'm going to start by going just the tip into this blue and mixing it into the red. Now this is going to be a purple like a dioxazine purple so it will look quite dark on your palette. I'm going to add a little bit more blue there. So I've got this dark purple here which is great. It can be a little bit hard to know what color purple you have, especially if you're mixing a dark purple, until you add a tiny little bit of white to it. So I'm gonna move a bit of my purple up here, and I, I poured a little blob of white for each one of my colors. I'm gonna go into this, and you see when I mix it in here, I get this really beautiful amethyst color purple. So a little bit, but creating some texture, like cosmic rainbow clouds. Ooh, vigorous tapping. I'm moving my whole station. Just look at that cheerful palette. 